I'm Leah McWilliams, and you're watching DEP News. DEP and the nonprofit Osborne Association recently installed one of the nation's first integrated blue and green rooftop systems atop Osborne's facility located in the South Bronx. Mayor Bloomberg is committed to invest more than $2.4 billion in public and private funding to build green spaces on our streets and obviously rooftops as well to support private green infrastructure installations like this one. Together these green spaces will manage millions of gallons of water each year and significantly reduce combined sewer overflows into our waterways. The blue and green roof will manage over 100,000 gallons of stormwater a year that falls on the rooftop, thereby improving water quality in the East River. This roof is not just going to reduce stormwater runoff, It'll also create training opportunities for folks in our career center, catering business, and soon our Bronx honeybee business. Osborne's enterprises employ formerly incarcerated individuals. Our work is transforming lives, and we really believe more than anything else in second chances. And um, today is really about second chances because we gave our roof a second chance. The project was funded through a $288,000 DEP Green Infrastructure Grant and a $400,000 in-kind contribution from Osborne. The Green Infrastructure System controls stormwater runoff from the roof by combining blue detention trays that slow the flow of stormwater into the sewer system and green trays that contain soil and vegetation that absorb rainwater and improve air quality. The system is expected to reduce runoff from the building's roof area by 32% during a typical NYC storm. Monitoring equipment has also been installed to measure the amount of precipitation that falls on the roof as well as the rate at which it enters the sewer system. This data will inform the design of future rooftop stormwater management projects. DEP Commissioner Carter Strickland, CEO of NYC and Company, George Fertitta, and CEO of the Hotel Association of New York City, Joseph E. Spinato, announced that 11 of the city's premier hotels have joined the New York City Hotel Water Conservation Challenge. Uh, we are here to announce a water conservation program that could save millions of gallons of water annually. We launched our hotel challenge to um, get hotels to save 5% of their water annually, which could save 13 million gallons a year. Participating hotels are equipped with water meters and automated meter reading devices, which track water consumption in near real time. We have 11 of the top hotels, including the Ritz and the uh, Waldorf Astoria, participating in this, so they see this as consistent with their uh, business model of having a luxury experience for high-end tourists. The hotels will use 12 months of water consumption data to establish a baseline profile and track their progress in reducing water consumption. And the city will develop a toolkit of resources to help the hotels meet their targets efficiently. And if they can do it, certainly we think other hotels can do it through a combination of changing consumer behavior and, and, and guest behavior, uh, maybe some upgrades, changing out fixtures and the like. So it's part of our overall effort to save 5% of our uh, water use across the city. The Water Conservation Challenge is one part of New York's Water for the Future program that will help to ensure reliable, clean, and safe drinking water for 9 million New Yorkers for decades to come. That does it for this edition of DEP News. If you'd like to check out more of our videos, you can head to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash NYC Water. Thanks for watching.